Hello guys and welcome to this quick tips video. Um, this one we are going to create cooldowns. Um, you can use cooldowns for a lot of things. Um, for an example, you can use it for uh, uh, spells and attacks and all sorts of stuff. So um, let's get started. So I have a script here um, which is called cooldown and to create a cooldown we need uh, two variables. So we need a public float cooldown. Uh, let's set that to one. And public float cooldown timer. And we don't have it have to set it to anything. So um, we're going to use the cooldown for the amount of uh, seconds the cooldown is going to last. And the cooldown timer is being used for taking the time that has passed. So we need a function and that is called update and we want to uh, check if cooldown timer is, uh, is less than zero. I'll just explain in a minute. Uh, then we got, want to set the cooldown timer to zero. And we just want to make sure that the cooldown timer isn't going uh, below zero. So negative and then we're going to do um, if uh, cooldown timer is bigger than zero then we want to minus it by time the delta time and that is going to uh, minus this value by the time that has passed so in seconds and then we will just create a simple uh, check. You can do whatever you want, but uh, I just say get button uh, called fire one, which is the left mouse button. So if we press the left mouse button and the cooldown timer is less, oh, is equal to zero, then we will. Uh, then we'll debug log and send a message in the console. So what do we say here? Uh, let's just say hi. And then we will set the cooldown timer equals to cooldown, which is the cooldown right here. So just to sum things up, uh, let's see what we have done. So. Uh, We'll make sure that the uh, cooldown timer isn't going below zero. And if the cool time is bigger than zero, we will uh, decrement it by uh, time that delta time, or the time that has passed. And then we will check if we press the left mouse button and the cooldown timer is equals to zero. Then we will execute something we call we could actually also create another function called attack maybe in your case and then we can just copy this in here and then we can call the function to attack so when we press the left button and the cooldown timer is equal to zero we want to attack and then we want to set the cooldown timer equal to cooldown so let's get into unity and try it out so just uh, put my script on the camera and let's see yeah, it says hi, and it works. You can also see the timer is going down every second, and everything works, which is nice. Um, that was all for this uh, quick tips tutorial. I hope it was helpful. Um, please subscribe, uh, share, like, and see you next time, guys. Goodbye.